Oh my God. Oh, this is me, Blanca. Look at this. This is my water culture. Contestant number one, number two, number three, and number four. <laughs> no, really, I am trying water culture, and I thought I would never do that. Oh, Olivia, thank you. I think I felt a pat on my back. <laughs> but I do it, um, I'm doing it in my screen porch, and I was afraid that um, it would get too warm, and the water would just heat up and the orchids would uh, suffer from it the roots would but um, I'll show you where they are I'm just cleaning out their um, containers right now uh, this big one here the one that goes in here well she's been in water culture for months now and let me show you what I'm doing I just gave them a good bath with the garden hose and I am basically laying them there so they can uh, dry out because they're soaking wet and I don't want them to get crown rot and contestant number one this one here she has a nice green root and she was a little bit bigger when I got her she is a species and um, she has some um, some roots here where my finger is and uh, I don't know she's she's coming along but really slowly um, I don't think I see any new leaves in there no I don't okay uh, contestant number two it's a little uh, one I, a little orchid that I got from uh, Walmart and I put her in water culture and she has a leaf that's turning there but that's okay because I noticed today under that leaf Look at, she's got a nice root coming out. And I notice uh, right here, right there, she's got a nice green root. So I think the water culture is working for her, even though she's got some stringy roots. <laughs> but I think it's, it's okay. And if you look in here, can you see some um, little nubbings of roots coming out right here? And uh, right, let's see if I can focus in on there there are some little roots there and then the big girl is this one here and um, I don't know she's been in water culture for months and months and I don't know if she's I mean she's still alive I don't see any new leaves I'm gonna put a photo in here of how pretty her blooms were when I originally got her a big big beautiful orchid and um, she's still alive but I, I don't see too much activity on her um, I do see some roots there some green tip roots but she's just coming along really really slow and I put her in water culture because she had some strange bugs living in her for a while there and the bugs were just eating her up so badly and there's some damage there I think I have a photo of how ugly she was with all the damage so and then let's see the last one here this is um she's coming along really slow I don't see any sign of any new leaves in there um, but this is the one that was a kiki and I took her off the mother plant and oh look her tip there it's a little bit green a little bit green so I guess she's doing okay in the water culture just kind of slow and uh, the mother plant that I took her off lost some big leaves and I, I done a video on the kiki when I removed her but anyway, so I'm giving this a shot, and uh, I what I do use, oh, the first one here, contestant number one, is a species. Here's her name. There. Oh, I don't know if I can focus it. Um, and I do use uh, distilled water. So anyways, um... The mother plant, I'll show you the mother plant on one of these that lost her leaves. Don't mind my mess, this is my screen porch. <laughs> and uh, 
This is the mother plant up here, and um, she had some little bugs on her, and but she's doing okay now. I I keep spraying her, and let me bring her down. Oh, her roots stuck back there somewhere. Okay, do you see where right in there she lost like three big leaves, but. She stopped losing the leaves, so she's doing okay, I think. She's got some nice roots. So I think she's going to survive. Like I always say, I'm not good with Phalaenopsis, but I'm giving them a try. And I repotted this one into spag new sphagnet moss. Just this week. This one I got in Miami, the International Orchid Show. This is one I did a video in the past, and uh, this is the one that had the, I believe that's the one that had the limpy leaves. And look at her, how well she is. There's no more limps on her, no more limpy leaves. She's in sphagnet moss, and she's got nice roots. Um... This other one, she's doing okay. I put her in, uh, I repotted her into um, sphagnet moss. And there's her label. So I hope I get some blooms from these. That is my IKEA ladder. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm back. I didn't publish the video, so I might as well add to it. Um, a few weeks ago, I went to a nursery in Sarasota, and they were having a huge sale on all type of plants, tropical plants and bromidias. And um, I had these pots that I purchased, like at a, they're like urns. And I got them at a consignment shop for like, I think under $7 for both of them. And uh, I wanted to put a bromelia in there, so I found a nice bromelia here. Bromelia that I'm gonna pot in it. And she has two nice big pups. And the mother plant is um, the mother plant is this one down here, but I think she's already dead. This one here, but I might just keep her in that pot, and she might grow some more pups. But anyways, what I did want to um, share with you was that, um, yeah, I'm getting ready to clean these out because they sold them like this with dirt inside. Dirty. But anyways, what I wanted to show you that while I was there, um, I found a big oak tree out there at the nursery. And under the oak tree, they had a table full of Phalaenopsis, and they were a bargain and uh, I couldn't bypass them and um, this is the only one they didn't have any uh, labels except for this one here I can't see because I'm in the Sun but this one has a name and um, let me put that back and here's the price five dollars and she seemed to be a nice plant when I got her. I didn't even notice one thing, but I take her out. She's pretty heavy. She's got a lot of nice roots inside there. But the uh, thing I noticed is that leaf there. And I didn't notice till I brought her home. I don't know what that is, a fungus. I might have to cut that leaf off. I'm going to watch to see if it spreads. But um, I know you can't see through this pot. But she does have some really good roots. Uh, and then the other one, look at my geraniums back there, how pretty and pink. And they have, uh, they have a few right in here, baby buds. They'll be blooming shortly. And down here there's more. Oh, get back to the Phalaenopsis. <laughs> okay, the other one I picked up. These didn't have labels. But again, what a bargain. Um, 
five dollars and I'll go ahead and show you this one here her roots I hope it comes out because I can't see through the screen it's so sunny here look at this she is full of roots all the way to the bottom let me put her down and see if I can show you and she's got like a new leaf right in the center coming out let's see if I can lift her up and show you it's a lot of, lot of roots in there let me put her down before I drop her Oh, and then here is the other one the third one and they had a table with about I think they might have had like between 12 and 15 left so I picked up three I wasn't there for orchids and they I was surprised to even found find these here here's another one seven dollars and this is I think the healthiest one and the biggest one no label boy is she heavy Ooh. Let me put her down here and get a better grip of her before I drop her. And there. There she is. She really has a lot of roots. Look at that. What a bargain. Yeah, I'm not going to repot them because they're doing well. So I'm just going to leave them alone because if I, I know my luck, I... I have cold hands and I don't know I might just <laughs> repot them and they'll die on me but anyways what I'm out here for is I'm going to be repotting the um, bromelia with some potting mix mixed with orchid bark and lava rock on the bottom and I'll probably show you when I'm done I don't think I'm going to videotape me doing that <laughs> There is my beautiful uh, catyals. I'm enjoying them there in my screen porch. Anyways, I am done with the repotting of the bromelias. There's one. And I'm keeping them here so they will get very little sun in the morning and um, until they adjust and then I'll move them somewhere else where um, they can take more sun. And the other one's back there in that corner. But they turned out really nice. They look great. <laughs> my problem is I my problem is I have <laughs> sun in my backyard all day from morning to night and uh, <laughs> I really don't know where I'm gonna put them. I might have to put them on my front entrance where there isn't that much sun. All right, thank you for watching.